If you've ever travelled along the M62, you may have noticed a large expanse of water that appears to run under the road. If so, you've passed by Scammonden Reservoir and as such, probably without even noticing, travelled travel over the only dam in Britain that is also a part of a motorway and a true engineering marvel. The M62 was constructed to provide a direct link between the two ever expanding cities of Hull to the east and Liverpool to the west, forming another major element in Britain's rapidly expanding road network. The age of the car was well upon us. In November 1961, surveying began and by the middle of 1963, the route of the motorway had been determined. The new modern motorway designs were centred around allowing the mass transit of vehicles 24 hours a day, every day. The relatively direct path over the Pennines followed these principles whilst emulating the long, straight, smooth sections found in decades of railway design previously. There was, as with every engineering project, items that required detailed planning and innovative designs to achieve successful completion. This is where, along with other industry experts, civil engineers were called upon to assist in the M62's design and construction. Civil engineers were pivotal in providing practical solutions to issues based on their knowledge and experience. On the M62, the Dean Head Valley could have been seen as an issue. However, the Ministry of Transport and the then Huddersfield Corporation Waterworks, who were responsible for the project, both saw it as an opportunity by combining a dam and a road into one construction as this solved two issues. A, a means of bridging the valley below for the new motorway, and B, creating a sustainable water source that would support the flourishing town of Huddersfield and its outlying communities, which you can just see in the back. The project required the passing of the Huddersfield Corporation Act 1965, which in summary meant the minister, or the then government, had to pay a proportion of the cost and offer indemnities amongst other items. If you get a chance to review this act, there's some very interesting caveats contained within. So Alfred McAlpine and Sons were appointed as the main contractor with excavation commencing in 1964. Construction of the dam followed in 1966 where approximately 713,000 cubic metres of peat bog had to be removed in order to reach a suitable solid rock base at around 13 metres. Clay excavated from the cuttings at Lost House and Gildersum were repurposed to line the reservoir and dam, so perhaps elements of sustainable construction have been around longer than we think. The 3.6 million cubic metre dam measures 625 metres long, stands 63.1 metres above the original valley floor and tapers from 435 metres wide at the base to 55 metres at road level. And the reservoir typically holds 7,800 megalitres, or if you prefer, 3,120 Olympic sized swimming pool. The M62 opened to traffic on the 20th of December 1970 and the latest traffic figures of circa 135,000 vehicles per day exceed the original forecast by double. Like Geoffrey Hunter, who was the reg resident engineer on the scheme, imagine the immense pride you would feel knowing your work is successfully used by thousands of people's da people daily. So put another way, London's Tower Bridge is used by 40,000 people daily, whereas Scammonden sees 135,000 people cross it every day. Civil engineering continues to be an expanding and exciting movement internationally where your involvement as one of, the, one of the many unsung heroes could form another part of a vitally important engineering marvel used daily by people who may not even notice, but you will. I would recommend, as with every profession, the earlier you get into that profession, the better. I didn't. I recently got into engineering in the last couple of years, having spent 20 years in another industry completely. It's an exciting opportunity and there are opportunities throughout the industry. It doesn't all have to do with dams and walls and bridges, There's, it's multifaceted. And the earlier you can get into it, the much easier you'll find your progression within the industry.